Scorpio man and Taurus woman. They say opposites attract. Could it be any more true with these two? The fixed signs. One being an earthly woman who is graceful, who is strong, who is sturdy, who is reliable. And one being a fixed water sign who is passion and intensity and focus. It is almost as if these two fit together like two pieces in a puzzle, lifting each other up where the other one falls down. Welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology, all things Scorpio related, and the expansion of consciousness. So today, we will expand on the consciousness of the Scorpio man and the Taurus woman. Taurus women are very graceful women. They have a sensual nature about them that makes them look very graceful. Like, ooh, ah, ooh, I'm a Taurus woman. And they usually have a very friendly demeanor. Very friendly and very open and reliable demeanor. These women are... I would say the Taurus woman is in tune most with Mother Gaia, the Earth. I would say the Taurus woman reminds me most of an earthly woman. The woman that you see playing with children. The woman that you see playing with flowers. The woman that you see, you know, at those music festivals with flowers on their head and... <laughs> And they're a very down-to-earth woman. They're a very grounded woman. So this couple, when they get together, on the surface, seemingly different, it is actually, uh, there are actually many benefits to this couple getting together. One is the Scorpio man is always looking for intensity, right? If you understand the masculine nature of all men in general is to take in energy and then release it all at once that's the nature of man that's the nature of sperm right what's a sperm this i know this is kind of weird so what's sperm how does a sperm fertilize the egg the strongest most fastest what we say right sperm competes with all the other million and gets to the freaking egg and then (laughs) When that egg is repopulated, if it's turned into a man, what happens again? That man spends his life gathering up energy, gathering up resources, building himself up so he can go out with a bang. And what's what's that? That happens in sex. He goes out with a bang and he reproduces himself. He goes out with a bang in society and he produces more, right? He goes out bang, right? What's the most heroic death a man can have? To die on the battlefield, to protect a cause. They go bang he put everything on the table he pushed it all on the table and he died a hero those are the people we remember because unconsciously it reminds us of us i know it sounds weird when you were a sperm that was you the champion so unconsciously you know there's always a part of us that knows there's a champion in all of us i know who can relate things to sex other than the scorpio man yeah you know you know what i'm saying so the Scorpio man is always seeking, where can I, boom, the masculine energy, where can I push it into the world? Where can I push it into the world? And usually with many women, this man will struggle with finding the right woman to push all of his energy out onto, to build something with and to receive something back from, right? He always feels like, Scorpio men will often feel like the world is kind of slow, the world is kind of shallow, people just want to love. People just want to get together and break apart. It's like, oh, okay. Scorpio man's always looking beneath the surface. So when he meets the Taurus woman, many times it will be the first time in his life where he can give all of his masculine energy to. Nothing holding back. And he will find that this is one of the few women in the world who will receive it and reciprocate it. The Taurus woman is able to see everything that the Scorpio man is and everything that he gives and she appreciates it 
wholeheartedly. Isn't that what we all desire to feel in life? To feel appreciated and to have the energy that we put out reciprocated back to us. And when these two come together for one of the first times in their life, they will truly feel that. They will truly feel that. Because a Scorpio man, he loves hard and he puts it on her hard and he teaches her and he shows her things and he talks to her. And the Taurus woman is all ears. She is attracted to this man. She is like, wow, look at this guy. This guy's intense. This guy's hot, sexy guy, damn. <laughs> and Taurus woman, she is strong where the Scorpio man is weak. The Scorpio man will find that there is actually a reliable woman behind my back, right? When the Scorpio man asks something, when the Scorpio man says something, many times as a man, you'll find things go unattended. But the Taurus woman, mm, she's right there. She got your back. Taurus women always have your back. They got your back. Like they really go the extra mile. They really do. And this is why it is an amazing couple. Because when the Scorpio man goes, right, he might go back into his cave or he might go and retreat. When he, what he'll find is the Taurus woman is right there, back with him. She goes, what's up? What's wrong? What's going on? What's going on this? So the many times when the Scorpio man is alone, where he will retreat into solitude and be alone, he will find that the Taurus woman is right there. She is reliable. She is sturdy. She is romantic. She is soft. She is sensual. And she gives to this man in a way that truly makes him feel cared for and in return Scorpio man showers his woman with affection with leadership and he wants to protect his woman from this hard world by nature by instinct because he sees this is a sensual woman this is a graceful woman a Taurus woman is very graceful she loves with a childlike innocence right she appreciates the things that a woman will stereotypically appreciate. Children, flowers, romance, pretty dresses, all these things. A Taurus woman, when you look at a Taurus woman, you can see it in her eyes. You see a soft, you see a loving, you see a, like a doting wife, like a doting lover. You see this care for the world and you see this care for the simpler things in life. And you look at her and you know, man, you would never want to break this woman's heart. You look at her and you see what she is made of it, it these are the women they cannot really hide the way they feel you look at them and you see and they sit and they listen they're so interested in things and they're so they reciprocate very very well this couple they get along very 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 well it is like home it is really like home in each other's arms seemingly on the surface They'll often come from different social circles, or they will even express themselves differently, extremely differently. You would never guess that these two would be together just because of the way they look, just because of the way they act, uh, just because probably where they grew up from and who they are overall. The Taurus woman, she might be like a school teacher or something, right? The Scorpio man might be like an assassin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, not literally. And the Scorpio is not putting any of my Scorpio brothers under the bus. You know, I don't know any. I don't know nothing about that stuff. Nothing about that stuff. But that's the vibe you get from these two. And when it comes to the love making, let me tell you something. These two have the stamina to really go. <laughs> I mean, these two have the stamina to really go. With the Taurus woman. Being so heavily influenced by Venus, being an earth sign, and being one of the most soft and sensual and graceful of women. And the Scorpio man, not only being a compliment to her earth sign, watch her, which would lead to a happy growth, happy life, happy family potential. He also is very 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 intense in the bedroom so when these two get together it is the most sensual of love making and the love making is just a cherry on top for everything 
else that they experience with each other. The I got your back. You know, in a relationship, two people almost become one in a way. They function as a unit, although they're separate. They do function as a unit. And it's incredible when the tourist woman and the scorpion man, they really do have each other's backs. There's just a sense of feeling and there's just a strong sense of security between these two. Like, damn. Like, no one's ever had my back like this. Like, that's what's up. And it's in the most unexpected ways. And and it is just very interesting. It's just very amazing. This Taurus woman, she's so she's so caring. And with this relationship, the Scorpio man, he can be very gentle with her. You know, he can be very gentle and he can really uh, push out his understanding and push out his passions in a more controlled manner because he sees this woman who is more grounded and uh, moves at a certain pace and he, he kind of slows down his intense and angry nature, right? Because the Taurus woman, there are some women in the world where you just never ever want to get mad at them. <laughs> There's some women in this world where you being mad just being mad will make them cry well you know there's some women in this world are so sensual and they're so they they affect a man in such a way that you i tell you a woman has the ability to change a man a man is here to push his woman to strength and to build her up a woman is here to help his man slow down and he is here to help she is here to help him see the weakness that he may have from being too jaded from being too rugged both sexes complement each other the man should be here to build his woman up to show her the way show her where she can go in life and who she could be and how great she could be and how great life can be as a woman should do to her man, she should push him. She should motivate him. But there's something when a man and a woman get together that happens to both of them. Usually men, especially Scorpio man, become a little more kind. They become a little less of assholes and they chill out a little bit. And the woman, they tend to glow a little more. They tend to get a little more brighter and... You know, life is less chaotic for them overall. With a Taurus woman, she is that type of woman that can do that to a man. Very few women really have this ability on a Scorpio man. It is definitely the Taurus woman, the Pisces woman, and the Cancer woman. They will do this to the Scorpio man. They will slow him down. They will make him look at himself and go, Man, I have been too much of a savage asshole for my own good. Because they say when a man loves a woman, she becomes his weakness. And when a woman loves a man, he becomes his strength. She becomes his weakness because she is the only one who can reform his heart. Not even God, not even millions of other men, not even war can do to the heart of a man what a woman can do. And that is the beauty of relationships. And that is one of the beauties of this relationship. Women are powerful in their own way, where men are powerful in a more domineering and aggressive and explosive way. The only people in the world who can change the most powerful of men are women very true the notorious woman she is one of those women you don't want to get angry in front of her you don't want to hurt her you don't want to yell at her because she is uh, graceful she is pure of heart so when these two get together they really do build each other up where one is totally oblivious to certain things of life, the other one seems to know. And that is what makes this a great couple. Now, where can this couple go wrong? One thing, one thing for all. Stubbornness. Two fixed signs that are the opposite of each other. 
that don't like to really stand down when they are angry. The temper of the Taurus woman is quite vicious. And the temper of the Scorpio man is quite vicious as well. So that is one of the main conflicts of this is the ability to resolve conflict with each other. If when the time to time, you know, it always comes in every relationship, the tumultuous experiences, the ups and downs come, can they really soothe out each other's rage? Because there is some serious rage. And it will usually be the Taurus woman to be able to drop it. Really, really, it usually will. Because the Taurus woman, she, although she gets mad and angry, a lot, and it's pretty intense, it does go away, right? She's the one that will be likely to talk about it. Scorpio man would be the one likely to block her and cut her off. How many? <laughs> Hey, all of you listening know that is true. You know it's true. And the Taurus woman would usually be the, 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 the resolution of conflict in this situation once it calms down. Unless the Scorpio man is extremely grown and mature and evolved, he'll be able to look at himself and go, Damn, I'm a jackass. Yep, 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 yep. All right. You know, that, that, that takes quite the man. But, you know, that's it. You gotta always leave some out for that R-rated stuff. You can find that in our description. And uh, thank you for listening. Thank you very much for listening. Look at this artwork. I think this is super cool. With the green fire. With the green fire. And the green background. And the little shiny things. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And there's crows in the background of the art. I didn't notice that. And I think in the left side, there's a little blimp. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, see you, <laughs> see you guys later.